Hello, human-shaped friends. Join me as I paint another omen. This one is less dark than some of my others. I would dare to call it rather ambivalent. Could be good, could be bad. Really more just informational. When a magpie crow lands on your roof, it means a visitor is coming. Simple, straightforward, informative. Does it mean it's going to be a good visitor? No, but it doesn't mean it's going to be a bad visitor. And as an introvert, I like knowing when I'm going to have company. I happen to have many very furry pets who shed on everything. So if I know a visitor is coming, I clean up a little bit. Not everyone comes to my home and thinks to themselves, I'm going to be leaving with my clothes a different color. Because I have a white dog and a black cat. So there, there are no safe clothes to wear. When I just had the black cat, then everything I owned, which was already very dark, was always good to go. But now I have a white dog, white and brown. So all of my dark clothes now always have white fur on them. And I want to be a good host. So I always do just a little bit of cleaning up. So that way my guests don't feel icky when they leave. So I like this omen. Like I said, it is simple. It is straightforward. It is not complicated. <laughs> and unlike some of my other omens, I didn't find any references in other cultures about it having a completely different meaning, which I liked. If I'm wrong, do tell me. <laughs> While in the past, which I mostly say because I don't actually know all of the information around it, and it was really hard for me to find solid, definitive <laughs> answers about it, the direction that the bird was flying and the way that it was facing was part of the omen and could lead you to whether it would be a good visit or a bad visit. But I couldn't find that information, so I can only tell you that it exists. And that makes me feel bad. It does. I like sharing knowledge and fun facts, but it's the internet. And I don't always know if resources are trustworthy. I just don't. I can say that birds have often been used in divination and omens and by oracles and the like, which is very cool. Genuinely, it is very cool. I got to see the prettiest vulture during my research because it was a Mediterranean vulture, and they're basically like the beautiful redheads of the vulture world. Like, they are truly gorgeous. But we're talking about crows and magpies, which are in the same family, I suppose. Regardless. <laughs> I want crows to be my friends. I think the fact that there are people out there who have befriended crows and they give them peanuts and the crows give them shiny things. I think those people are the coolest people and I want them to be my friends too. Not the people, the crows. The people may be fine, but as previously stated, I am an introvert and I don't often have guests. Anyway, this is my painting. I do understand that this time lapse is rather dark 
I live in a hole, this had three lights on it. I am trying my best. That being said, I like this painting. It's one of the very, very, very rare paintings that if nobody else wants it, I'd be willing to put it up on my wall, which is saying a lot. I don't normally like hanging my art. All I see are the mistakes in it, but I rather enjoy how this one turned out. Anyway, I hope you all have a wonderful day, a pleasant evening, and positive visitors. It's nice when you have positive visitors. Until next time, be well.